As the sellout crowds at this year's Golden Shares Illustrated, Masterton loves its sharing. And it's as proud as punch of the wool industry too, and has opened a museum to capture the sector's history and essence. Masterton's National Wool Shed Museum trustee and retired sharing contractor Scotty says the museum has been run by volunteers for the past seven years, since two farmers donated their wool sheds. I've been sheds. here since day one on a museum. Yep. And I'm a bush carpenter, or one of the bush carpenters that put it up. Perhaps we couldn't operate today under the new restrictions, right. but, but, <laughs> but, but, but that's what we were very lucky to be given two wool sheds yep. and we got them into town and the council gave us the land. Uh, well, didn't give us the land, but it's council land, yep. and we're up and running, and uh, we run on a household budget, I tell people. That's yep. what we are. We have no government funding from day one. We haven't had government funding. Appropriately insulated with wool, the museum doubles as the HQ for the Golden Shares and runs educational tours for school groups, tourists, and locals alike. People come here and they haven't touched a sheep or need seen a sheep. They might have seen one in a zoo in Japan. Right, yeah. And they arrive here in New Zealand and they just want to wonder, ask about the wool and what, you know. And By the time they leave, however, visitors have not only touched sheep, they've seen them shorn too. Of course, the children love, love turning, the children turning this and, and, and you put the machine on the bottom and, yeah. and yeah. I'll shear a sheep. Oh, okay. or, or not only the children, but tourists yeah. from another country, Japanese, yeah. and all they want to do is hold that or hold that machine and a little sheep yeah. as a souvenir photograph. Yeah, that, that, sure. That's number one. Visitors also learn about the history of shearing and the shearers too. They've been shearing sheep for many, many years with blades, yeah. with the hand yeah. shears, you know, many, many years, way back in the early, early, the 1700s. But machine shearing or the machine, the hand piece, uh, didn't really come in till about the 1860s, 18, 1850s. But the museum also doubles as a home for Masterton's Spinners and Weavers Club. <laughs> and it also houses the Golden Shears Hall of Fame. So Ivan Bowen, the first year, 1961. Yep. Of course, David Fagan leads it a little bit. Yeah. Many wins. Yep. But. Uh, one or two have passed on, but that's it, you know, true champions. Benedict Collins, yeah. Country 99 TV News.